11 vandals have targeted the Indiana Black Expo headquarters. They use chemicals to burn a cross into the grass. Tonight, our Emily Longnecker shares the message from community leaders saying they will not be silenced by fear. On Juneteenth, a day that commemorates the official end of slavery, this on the front lawn of Indiana Black Expo headquarters. When I drove in today, I looked, I said, well, Dad, why is the grass dying right there? Upon closer inspection, Terry Falker knew exactly what she was looking at. It's a chemically burned cross in our yard. And in a state with a history of cross burnings in the yards of black people by the Ku Klux Klan, Falker knows exactly the message whoever did this was trying to send. Get out of here, basically. IBE moved its offices here from near downtown in October to expand programming. This was the perfect spot for us, and uh, we, we like our new home. The folks at Expo are waiting on investigators to come out and take a look at that cross. In the meantime, they're hoping that businesses in the area have cameras that might have captured on video whoever's responsible. We, we wanted to make sure that uh, the community knows, you know, and we have community support, so um, hopefully uh, something can be done. The timing of it all isn't lost on Faulkner. I think it just speaks to the way, the way we are, where we are right now. Uh, the city's in unrest, the country's in unrest, so um, it was a hate crime. Hate, folks here are standing against. We can overcome the hate, yes. We can overcome the hate. At the same time, wondering why in 2020 anyone should have to.